Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Do you remember when uh, the Western media and the experts and the anal analysts were claiming that the Russians ran out of troops? Do you remember? Of course, you have to remember because they said this every week, five times. Chum, 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 chum. Since the Russians invaded, unprovoked Ukraine, this mass media here, and not only, and the experts and the analysts and all these guys were saying that the Russia is almost out of missiles. The first one when I said that was on April, I think, or May. Okay? Last year, not this year, last year. That was the first time. I don't think that happened. It, it, they're almost done. The same. They are running out of troops, remember? Nobody wants to get recruited. Remember? I'm talking about the Russians. The Russians are going overseas with millions. Russia will be zero. There will be unpopulated. None, zero population. Why? Because all these cowards are going to flee Russia. Because the dictator Putin is going to grab them, you know, with lasso. And get them into the uh, army to fight an unjust war of um, expansion. Okay? This is how the freaking story goes. Well, <clears throat> for the infantiles. Okay? So what happens now? Let me show you this uh, little article that was, uh, what, four months ago. It says, Putin has a bad Ukraine problem. The Russian military is running out of men. Wow. Story by Stavros. Stavros, that means uh, cross in Greece, in Greek. Atlamazoglu. Hey, Atlamazoglu. Okay. So Putin has a problem, but this is four months ago. And the Russians are still doing what they do best. Fight, right? And we have this article, and I'm going to show it to you only with the title and the first um, sentence, but it's uh, enough because they want me to pay them $1 a month. And I don't want to pay them $1 a month because I don't deserve $1 a month. I'm talking about the Telegraph, that British or English. Is it Scottish or Irish uh, or maybe Welsh uh, uh, media outlet? Okay, it's a British. Okay, British media outlet doesn't deserve one dollar a month from me. They should uh, get the money from their uh, paymasters, not from me. So that's why I don't pay. All right, I think it's garbage, but I'm going to use them. Why? Because I want to point out how weasels these guys are and something switched. Something switched. This kind of uh, articles uh, I didn't see about, what, three months ago? Nothing. Now they're all over. Oh, Ukraine is losing, maybe. Oh, some uh, the counteroffensive is not uh, succeeding. Oh, the um, uh, Ukrainian casualties are uh, too big for the counteroffensive, and they from time to time they're like uh, uh, they go on another spasm. You know how you get a fish if you ever got a fish you cut his head and it's still alive, kind of, or the nerves are still reacting and a little bit, and then takes a shit. No, that's what these guys are doing. They tell us, oh, the Ukrainians are this, Ukrainians are dying, Ukrainians are losing. They started about, what, a month ago saying su such a thing? And then from time to time, it's the, actually, the Ukrainians are winning. What? No, let me show you this article. Right. It doesn't mean that this article, that you see how it comes, one month free for $9. Oh, my bad. I thought it was, oh, they want nine. Oh, a year. Oh, that's even cheaper. I'm not going to pay. One month free. Okay, F off. The Telegraph. So, Ukraine's army is running out of men to recruit and time to win. Robert Clark, you'll be fired for this. You're fired. <laughs> okay, mate. Victory may be in sight for Vladimir Putin. Oh, my God. What are you doing, Robbie? Robbie? Oh, Rob. This is from today, the 22nd of August. So, oh, my God. I don't know. I'm going to look for this guy. If he got fired or not, really. I don't know how, how this trickled down from uh, the Telegraph. But I'm still not going to pay the $9 a year <laughs> with one month free. Ukraine's army is running out of men to recruit. Wow. And time to win. Yeah, because... All right. Victory may be in sight for Vladimir Putin. And let's go to the first paragraph that we can just master here. The war in Ukraine is now one of attrition. Fought on terms that increasingly, increasingly favor Moscow. Kiev has dealt ad, dealt admirably with shortages of Western equipment so far. Why do they need Western equipment? I thought it's Ukraine versus uh, Russia, not NATO versus Russia. Hello, Robbie. But a shortage of manpower, which is which it is already having to 
confront many powerful fatal people people put no claim your offer no continue with no i'm not gonna pay shit god damn it <laughs> i'm a human being god damn it my life has value remember that that movie all right that's called uh the network the network my life has value i'm a human being god damn it the same here i'm not gonna pay nine times i'm a human being for you so anyway if this guy comes from the telegraph and says that that means as i said before the suspect is dead for some time already he didn't die just yesterday it's floating down the stream for about three four five six days already bloated over there okay in the water b -b -b face down this is how this uh, Ukraine thing is. Has been like this for some time, but it covered, covered, covered. But then it's like, what's this stench? Mm -mm. Oh, whoo -hoo. That's how, now you can't stand it. I mean, you can cover it with some, I don't know, leaves and branches. The body over there, you know, pa -pa 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 -pa, and start smelling. What are they going to do? Tss, tss, tss. That? No, we're going to, oh my God. Oh, ah, it's been dead for about, what, two weeks already? The same here. This guy comes and lets us know. Uh, and why is that? I can't tell you why he thinks, Robert thinks that uh, they are running out of men but for to recruit. But for me, it's not something new. And I think uh, I spoke about this uh, in many other articles, uh, videos before. Why? My friends, there are limits. You have logic. You've been around the block a few times. You read a few things. You experience certain things. So that's why <sighs> educate educating ourselves would help us avoid being fooled by anyone that really thinks that we were born yesterday that's it and we don't know shit that's why these guys can pull off certain things with zzz, boo, 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 uh, distance and all that because you got cowards they don't know they haven't been around the block a few times so they say oh my god we're gonna die Woo! yeah that's exactly how they react why because they don't know shit. They didn't read a shit. They read what? Oh, let me read some soft uh, 40 shades of gray. Is that 40? 40? Is that 40 shades of gray? Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, that's what they read. They don't know anything about the world. They, they, they uh, read um, fiction. What do you read, honey? Uh, I read fiction books. That means dreams. They like to dream. That's why they like TV. They like to watch movies. Because they, for two hours they're dreaming. They don't know the reality, they dream. If they could, let's come come from work, if they work, in, not in a basement, in front of a computer, all day not be afraid to go outside. The sun, cancer, the wind, oh my God, they're going to bring all kinds of allergies. It's always something like that. Oh my God, woo! Temperature, going to be this dehydrated. You see the, all these motherfuckers in the park, they're going to what? Walk for about... 37 seconds, or not seconds, let's say minutes, and they're with a water bottle. Yes, honey, and how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, want, I don't want to de dishydrate, dehydrate. You need for 30 fucking minutes water. You're going to be dying over there on the pavement. And the water is like, what, uh, 300 yards from you? Your car is over there because you don't go. Oh my God, we, we, don't, we shouldn't go into the woods. Uh, it's over there. It's, uh, it's bad, bad news. Never been in the woods. You know, oh my God, and this is the guys who vote. This is the guys who are gonna tell you, hey, hey, this is the common good here. You uh, uh, endanger our safety and health. You, you need to be put in a little happy camp over there with your guys and maybe in the night, <laughs> we don't know what happened. These guys, these guys, my God. So anyway, my friends, um, this is uh, the reality. They've been done for some time. People don't know because they don't know. Not that I know. Oh my God, I have I have my little crystal ball right here. Ooh. But you pick information from here and there and you put things together. You connect the dots and they say, okay, we'll see. Like the Russians, remember four months ago, the Russians ran out of troops. That's the Putin's big problem. And now they tell us, actually, is this guy's problem? Now, which one is uh, the accurate one? They could be true uh, in the same time both of them that's been four months ago my friends my friends so anyway uh the reality is these guys are in the you know in the courts not even doing rope dope okay because rope dope supposedly you win by you know mm -mm -mm. but in this case they are like barely standing the ropes in the corner you know in the corner of the ring the ropes keep you over there for not falling down 
when the other guy is punching you in the face. But anyway, my friends, this is it. Um, the Russians are advancing in Kupiansk, advancing in Bakhmut, Marinka, and the Ukrainians are doing what? Oh, they freed a, uh, a uh, they say a village somewhere in uh, Barabaga, Begabaga, in uh, um, how do you, they broke the first line of defense of the Russians in that little village in Zaporozhye Oblast. The mighty counteroffensive. And it was the, the last one. After this is like done, it's like the last breath. <gasps> and that we, we die with that one. You know, you go underneath and that's it. I don't want to make it worse than it is, but I think, uh, as I said, floating downstream, bloated, smelling now. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.